Hey, what's up, people? This is Pinaris, and welcome back to Ranch Simulator. So, I've been loving this game a lot. I find myself playing it pretty much every day, just sort of trying to make a little bit of progress every day. So, I'm going to show you a little bit of the progress that I've made, and we're going to see what we can get into today. So, I've been looking at some other creators, and I've been looking on the Steam page, and I found a really cool idea to build a sort of fence around your chicken coops so that your chickens can run around and stuff so i built our fence here and that's what i've been working on for the past couple of days and i just finished the fence recently so this is what it looks like now i'm probably gonna try to finish it so that i don't have this weird little thing here but this is what we have as of now and we're actually doing really well with the chickens this little coop i have over here is actually for the ones that I plan on selling. We just have these little ones. I think this coop here only holds like eight. And then we have a bunch of chickens in here who basically just breed and then they have a bunch. Can you guys move out the way? I'm trying to pick up the poop. Yeah, so they basically breed and then I sell the eggs when I whenever I get a chance. I don't check these often because they're not always full of eggs. So I wait until they have a bunch of eggs and then I come by and do that. But I think what I really wanna do today is I want to go and buy a new vehicle because I've been doing a ton of hunting. You saw in the last video how lucrative hunting can be. So I've been doing that and trying to keep our little animals here fed. So we're at, where is it at? We're at 3,190 for cash right now. And that's definitely enough to buy a pickup truck so we can start, you know, getting into farming with pigs. And I've seen that pigs can actually get you a whole lot of money. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, I think I'll probably put the pigs over here in the barn, obviously. But there's also some things that I need to build in the barn, such as these doors. There's also these windmill and granary, which I can feed, which I can use to feed them. And then there's also the corral here. So I don't know if I have enough money to do all this. I think I do, but we'll see what happens. So I know pigs are 300 in the car. The pickup truck I'm going to buy is 1400 so i might have enough we'll see but let's go get the pickup truck first and then we'll see what we can do actually i'm going the wrong way the car the car shop is over here i usually go that way i'm so used to going that direction because i'm always going to the store first thing in the morning and that's usually where i do the most the majority of my hunting but we need to go this way they probably should pick up some gas as well. So we might as well do that. I think we'll have enough. Oh yeah, and then I learned this little trick where just driving around with the gas can <laughs> hanging out the side of your car definitely saves a lot of space. It's been really cool looking at all the different videos that people are making on this game. I've learned so much, especially with the storage on top. I'm able to carry so much meat from hunting just by putting it on the top of the car. It's been great. Now, one thing that I've noticed while hunting is that there are not that many bears, which is really unfortunate. It's actually really hard for me to find bears. I usually, why am I crouched? I usually get like one a day. There we go. And I got lucky before I started recording and I got two. But yeah, it's usually one a day, and then I, I, my most of my hunting is usually just a bunch of deer. I did find some wolves in the upper part of the map, like around here, where this little red mark is. And usually the bears are down in this area, and deers you can find pretty much anywhere. I think that's enough. I don't think I need to fill up our tank. We should be good. Let's go ahead and hop back in. Okay, so let's head over and let's buy ourselves a pickup truck. Now, I could get the massive, what's it called, delivery truck, but 
that's also way too much money and I don't think I need it. I'm pretty sure the pickup truck can hold cows as well if I ever decide to get some cows. But let's go ahead and buy ourselves a pickup truck. So yeah, two pigs is what the ATV, the UTV can carry. But we're going to be picking up a pickup truck. So it says it can do one pig or two pigs or one pig and one cow. So let's go ahead and buy this. Your vehicle is waiting in the parking lot. Awesome. And now we have 1700 left. That should be enough for two pigs. Yeah. Now the only issue is that there's no trailer to bring this back. So I'll have to run back here to get this little UTV because this thing is super useful for hunting. But let me go ahead and drop off our inflatable mattress so that I can sleep out here if I need to. I've been using this when I go hunting. I actually got attacked by a bear, which was really unfortunate. Where's my gas can? Yes, yeah, so I got attacked by a bear when I woke up, which was super unfortunate, but probably granted because I slept in the wrong place. This thing sounds cool. Okay, so now what do we need to do? Should we... I don't think I have enough to flip the color of this. Yeah, we'll do the color later. Let's go buy... Let's go buy a pig. I might buy a second pig later, but let's go buy one pig for now. I think this is the quickest way. This thing is fast. Let's, this is the quickest way to get to the general store. And this is usually another area that I hunt in. There's usually dares all along that side. Yep, there's one right there. Actually, you know, while we're here, where, where did that deer go? While we're here, we might as well go ahead and take out this deer. I always have to reload. I don't know why it does that. There we go. I always have to reload when I load back into the game. Even if my gun is already loaded when I save. I'm not sure if anybody else deals with that. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab... Where did I kill that deer at? Is it right here in front of me? Yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and grab this. We might as well just sell this. Make back some of the cash we just used. I learned that you can actually stack these flat pieces, so it actually gives you a lot more room than you think you have. Alright, here we go. Big piece here. Yeah, this thing sounds awesome. I'm gonna try my hardest to ignore the next day we come across. think I'm going the right way. Let's see. Let's check the map real quick. Yep, we gotta go this way. Yeah, this thing is much faster than UTV. So I'm glad we picked this up. This thing is insanely fast. Good lord. Look at all the motion, the motion blur. All right, let's go ahead and back this up. You're so glad there's no car damage. All right, grab this. Might as well sell this while we're here. Okay, perfect. So yeah, if I remember correctly, pigs are 300. Yes, they are. I think we can get away with getting two of them. Yeah, let's get two pigs. And we'll sell what we just got. Now, I have a bunch of food that I bought for the chickens. I wonder if I should buy some food for the pigs we currently have. You know what? Let's buy two bags. And we're going to need some water for them as well. 
Hmm. Actually, you know what? No, we might not need we might not need that because we're gonna try to build that greenery thing so that they should be fed. So I'm gonna hold off on buying the food. I'll come back if I need to buy food, but let's buy the pigs. Hopefully they can fit in the back of this thing. You could transport animals in the car. Press E when facing large livestock. You can control it to either follow you home on foot or to get in the car when facing it. Okay. Oh wow, they're so small. I've seen some really big pigs. Um, transport animal. To load large animals, unload the vehicle first. Oh. Crap. Um, pick this up. Drop that there. Un it's unloaded. What do you mean? Do I have to? Oh, no. I swear, if this pig goes away. All right. There we go. Um, excuse me. Where do you think you're going? Get back here, please. To load large animals, unload the vehicle first. It's unloaded. What do you mean? I'm so confused. Okay. Is it this? Do I need to move this? Oh, wow. That counts? I had no idea. Okay. So because that thing was hanging off the side, apparently that counted. Uh, come on, little piggy. It's getting kind of dark. We're going to have to get home. Okay. And let's drop you off. Whoa, no. Get out the car. Alright, come on. Let's try this again. E. Perfect. Okay, good. Now we can pick this up, and I think I can put this in the back. Hopefully. I'm gonna have to come back for this, aren't I? Yep, I'm gonna have to come back to the back for this. Oh wait, no. That was we got it. Can I pop this back here now? Okay, that was weird. I had to take that off, but now I can put it back on. Alright, let's get home. I'm gonna have to leave these pigs in the back of the truck while we sleep so we can get some daylight before we start building our different parts of the barn. I can't get over how fast this thing is. We're gonna have to slow down a bit. I'll probably run back and get my UTV on my own time. Cause I doubt, oh my God. I doubt you all wanna watch me go back there and get that. All right, so we've murdered our pigs. I'd be really surprised if they're still alive. All right, let's try this again. The speed of this vehicle. Okay, here we go. Back on the road again. Good lord. Now, I also noticed when I was watching somebody else's videos that I can actually name our ranch. So if any of you have any ideas of what I can name the ranch, please let me know. And we'll definitely, I'll definitely name it whatever you all want me to name it. Alright, so we have enough food for you guys. You guys should be sleeping by now. You little guys, anybody grow up? Okay, two of you grew up. So I'll probably sell those two tomorrow. How are we doing on food over here? Food looks good. Okay. Let's uh let's go to sleep. And we'll start building the barn in the morning. Alright, awesome. Alright, here we go. So we need to build a number of things. We need to build this so that the feeders will automatically be filled. We need to build a corral so they can walk around. We need to build... Actually, probably don't need the doors over here. We probably don't need these doors right now. But we definitely need the, fill, the feeder. So, let's see. I don't think they can fit out this door. But whatever, let's just get started. So we'll build that. Oh, okay. I don't actually have to do anything. Okay. That's easy. 
Perfect. Don't need that. Awesome. I actually thought I would need to build this by myself, which is why I waited for you all. I could have did this ages ago. My bad. Okay. And we need this thing. Where is it at? Build. We need a greenery. Awesome. And we still have 600 to spare. Now, I've seen people have to fill this up with food. Yeah. So, how does this get water? Because I know this is for the water. But I wonder... I'm not sure. Hold to fill grain storage. 300? I guess we're going to have to. I, I wish that maybe I could take food from this and use it to fill these guys, but it doesn't look like that's the case. But it looks like water fills itself and food will fill itself. So let's go ahead and move in our pigs. I think I have to drive over there. So let's see. All right, I think we're good. All right, let's go. Oh, you're just going to go ahead and... All right, you do your own thing. What about you? You're going to do the same thing? Nope. Nope, you're going to try to leave. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, so now we have some pigs. Awesome. Now, I wonder if they'll eat on their own. I really hope they eat on their own. But anyways, we have some pigs now, and they've already pooped? How in the world? You just got here. Did you just run in here to take a crap? <laughs> Seriously? Alright. Yeah, come over here, just so you know where the food is. Not sure if this is necessary. But there you go. So, I've read that in like four to five days you can actually take these guys when they're nice and fat you could take them to the store and then you shoot them and then you could make a ton of money so that's one thing that we can do now i also read that you can build some stuff inside and you can have stalls in this as well but i think i might need to expand the back of this place first so let me see how much that actually is. And then eventually when the game, they're making eggs. How did you get out? Oh, because the door's open. So eventually when horses come in, I'll be able to do that. Should I expand this now? You know what? Why not? We're here. We might as well do this together. Oh, I can build this. Okay. You know what? While we're here, we might as well build this together. I think I still have some planks from when we first built this place. Hopefully it's enough. Okay, that's good. Yep, we're going to need to go and process some logs. I have a feeling. Because I used a couple of these to make that platform on the top of the UTV. I still need to go back and get. I was thinking of doing a video where we go over the roadmap for this game. Because I actually like this game a lot. Let me know if any of you would be interested in going over what's planned, what the developers have planned for this game. Because I think that could be interesting. I've already looked at the roadmap, but if any of you are interested in seeing what else is planned for this game, definitely let me know. And I will happily do a video on that. Let's go ahead and build the rest of our barn extension. There we go. Let's see, can I reach this? Come on. There we go. Glad they put this little ladder here again for us. Looks like we need two more pieces. Hopefully it's not three. I think it's just two. I'm glad we got this truck. Definitely a good investment. I wonder how good it's going to be for hunting, but I think the UTV is probably going to be best for hunting. Come on, we got this. Got it. Yes. Hell yeah. Now let's see how much the extensions are. 
125. Hmm. We could build one of them. And then call it a day. Yeah, you know what? Let's build one. There we go. Okay, so now we have one little cell. And we can build a lot more, I think. Yeah, I think we can actually build a lot more. Is there another extension? Because I've, I've definitely seen barns bigger than this. Yeah, there is. There's a whole nother extension. Okay, we're gonna stop there for now. Because I didn't, I didn't know that the barn was gonna turn out to be so massive. And we only have two pigs. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stop recording here. And then I'll probably stitch in when our pigs are nice and fat and then we'll go and we'll see how much we get from the slaughter of these two pigs ranch life is also super gruesome now that i put it that way but hey that's i think that's a good way to make some money but yeah definitely let me know if you all want to see that roadmap showcase but anyways i think we're gonna stop there for now i'll see you all after the cut all right everybody so we are back it's been a couple of days both in real life and in game i think it's been maybe five or six days in game and as you can see the pigs are nice and big now we're actually going to take them to the general store and we're going to see how much we get for them if i go off what i've seen you probably get like 20 to 25 meat from a fully grown pig now i'm not sure if these are fully grown but this is how they usually look when they're at their max weight so we're going to take these pigs to the market and we're going to see what we can get for them now i haven't filled up the granary again since the last time we did it and the food is actually pretty low right now oh it refilled itself okay cool so before i started recording the food was actually really low, but it looks like it refilled itself. So let me actually go outside and see if I have to refill it. Because it, it cost 300 last time. Okay, now it's 60 now. So yeah, it was uh, 300 last time. And then when I came back, it said that it wanted me to pay 30. So I guess it will keep refilling itself until it gets back to that 300. So that's actually really cool. I heard a lot of people saying that the granary thing didn't work but i think it has to empty first and then it refills but anyways let's go ahead and get our pigs in the truck here and we will see our what's it called return on investment because overall we spent what 600 maybe 900 if we count the feed that we had to put in the granary and i only filled that up once Come on. Good lord. <laughs> Look at that. It's so big that it just phases through the, the side of the truck. That's hilarious. All right. Let's let's go. Second pig. We didn't name these pigs. Seeing as these are our trial pigs, maybe we'll name the next couple of pigs we get. If you all have any names, I think we'll get maybe two more pigs, and then maybe we'll start getting into cows. We'll see. But drop some names in the comments and we'll start naming our animals. I don't know. Is it worse if we name them and then take them to slaughter? I don't know. That might be worse. And we have a bunch of eggs here, so we might as well go and sell these eggs. If I can get up here. It's actually getting kind of dark, so I might have to sell these guys in the morning. Right there in the middle. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to wait for the sun to rise, and then we'll sell these in the morning. Let's hope they don't die while they're in the back of here, because I'm just going to leave them back here. All right, everybody. It's a brand new day. I think the pigs are still alive. Yeah, they're still alive. All right. Let's get ourselves to the market. Now, the pigs can't actually get inside, so unfortunately, we're going to have to shoot them, and then piece by piece bring all the meat inside so it's gonna take a little while especially with two pigs i think that's where the other car the truck comes in handy so that you can just shoot them 
while you're at the barn and then put all the meat in the back of the truck. But I think that thing cost... I think it cost 2400 to get that big truck. But we're just going to deal with this one for now. This thing is so fast. I still can't get over how fast this thing is. All right. Let's go ahead and back into here. Sorry, pigs. All right. Let's go ahead and sell this off first. I don't think it was a whole lot of eggs I had, but we might as well do what we can do with this. All right. So what do we get for this? 28 eggs, 168. All right. Pretty decent. So now it's time to do what we have to do. All right, are we reloaded? I think we are. I'm sorry, pigs. Can I shoot through the car? Yes, I can. I'm sorry. And the second one. Okay. Now we have to skin them. How much meat do we get? Oof. All right, I'm gonna put all of this on the cell thing and we'll see how much we get from this one pig and then i'll do it the same for the second one all right i'll be back with you all all right everybody so it took a while but all the meat from the first pig is on the cell spot i'm trying to see if there is anything that i missed but it doesn't look like it so let's go ahead and skin this one. Then we'll see how much meat is from the first pig. All right. Let's go see how much meat we got from the first pig. And we'll see how close we were to full weight. 24. Okay. So yeah, I think it's so that's I think that's what I said. It was like 20 to 25 meat that you get from a full grown pig. So around that size is probably where I'll be selling them in the future. And we got 840 from that. So that's actually a pretty good profit. Yeah, because we spent 300 on the pig. And let's say two pigs eating off of only 300 of green. That's like 450, let's say, if we cut the green in half. So yeah, one pig is 450 to get to that weight. So that's actually quite a lot of money that you get back. So let's go, let's go ahead and sell all of that. And I will be back once I get the second pig, all the meat from the second pig up there. All right, everybody. So these are the last three pieces from the second pig. And then we'll be able to see how much we got from this pig. It, I feel like it's going to be around the same amount because we got the pigs at the same time and we sold them at the same time. So... I feel, like, I feel like it might be around the same amount of meat. But let's go ahead and see. Oh, no, it's actually two less. Did I miss anything? It could just be that they grow differently, which would make a lot of sense. But yeah, I don't think I forgot anything. I don't think anything has clipped through the ground. Okay, so we got 24 for one pig, and we got 22 for the other. So that still fits around 20 to 25 meat. So let's go ahead and sell that. That's still a pretty good investment if we're calling it 450 for what we spent. So that's pretty damn good. Actually, yeah, because we didn't have to fill up the water tank. We only had to fill up the food. So yeah, around 450. And now we're sitting on 2200. And I think that big truck is actually 24, but I think I'm going to use this money to probably buy some more animals and then expand the barn so you know while we're here we might as well see the return on investment for cows i don't exactly know i think you sell the milk from the cows i'm not sure when you actually sell the cow itself but let's go ahead and get ourselves a gold cow and let's get ourselves another pig so that is 950 right there. And we're going to let them go off of what we already have in there for food and water. I'm pretty sure it said this truck can take one pig and one cow. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But I will update you all 
Actually, ooh, can I even bring the basket? I think I can. All right, let's go ahead and get these two inside our truck. Let's see if we can actually get both of them in there. All right, let's go. I can't believe that's how small the pigs start and the massive size that we had when we sold them. Okay. How are we going to get a pig in here? I highly doubt we're getting a pig in here. But, um, sure. Wow, okay. I guess that's how. That's awesome. So we might need that other... That other vehicle soon. But as for now, this is what we're gonna be dealing with. Oh, we need a milk can. Because I think you can actually sell the cow's milk. Hopefully I have enough space. So let's see. Uh, milk can. And do we need... Don't we need a bucket to get the milk? I have no idea how this works. But let's get... One milk can and one still bucket. And we'll see if we can actually fit it inside of... God, these are big. <laughs> we have to use two hands for this. We'll see if we can fit it inside. Uh, excuse me, Cal. I gotta drop this somewhere. Oh, perfect. Come on. There we go. And let's go ahead and grab this. I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be. Because I had to stitch... I'll have to stitch these two together. But it's no big deal. Alright, let's see. My guy jumps like he's on the Olympic team. Come on, car, stop moving. I know there's a lot of weight in the back of this thing. Okay, let's go. Alright, we got some new animals. So yeah, once again, let me know what you think I should name these two. And <laughs> we'll, I'll see if I can remember those names for our don't fall. I know we flipped the car last time. But let's not flip it this time. Or maybe I didn't do that on camera. But I definitely flipped this car when I had a full set of chickens in the back. Thankfully, nothing fell out of it. But now we have a cow and we have a pig. And I also changed up the setup of our chicken coops. I got rid of that small one. And now we have a premium chicken coop for breeding and we have the other one just for egg generation all right let's go let's get over here and drop you all off i think this is good all right let's go cal do you don't have a name yet so whoa 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 come over here this way this way this way all right this is your new home you have all the fun you need in here. Can I let go of you? There we go. And let's grab this pig. Come on, little guy. This way. Hurry up before the cow gets away. Okay. All right, cool. So now we have a pig and we have a cow. I'll try to figure out what exactly I need to do with the cow and how and when to milk it. I think I have to milk it every day, but we'll see. But anyways, we'll see what our return on investment is for these two, probably in, in a future episode. But anyways, that's going to bring us to the end of this one. Let me know what you all thought. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and consider subscribing. If you didn't, however, leave a comment. Let me know why. If you ever want to get in contact with me, you can follow on Twitter at Pinarios Gaming, or you can join the Discord, which is in the description of any of my videos. But with that said... I will see you all in the next one. Later.